Cancer Washington Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your August 2020 tarot reading. I hope you are well. I thought I'd continue with the different style of reading again this month and along with the offer of a free personal reading as well. So please keep watching. Um, the decks that I'm using this month are the spell casting sorry spell casting oracle deck by flavia kate peters and barbara michael john free and the tarot deck that i'm using is the shaman caselli tarot okay as always i've pulled a card for the overall energy and then i'll pull a card for each of the four weeks and don't forget the personal reading as well plus i've got some exciting news about experiences and going live on here and facebook as well so the card that we have for you for august cancers is dreams these cards are so beautiful so this is a sign for you this month to keep your focus and to set your intentions and if you're unsure of the way forward, look up at the night sky, look at the stars, see what it is that is guiding you, see what's guiding your thoughts, see what's guiding your intentions. And clear your mind before you go to bed. Set the intention that you would like to receive direction during dream time. And then as soon as you wake up, write down those thoughts, whatever it is that you're feeling, thinking, anything. Thoughts, feelings, or guidance, they can all come to us in dream time. And it's only the things that you can remember. It's not true that you actually need to remember your dreams because your subconscious will remember them even if you do not. Now it's understanding that we all go on a dream, a journey during dream time. And the messages are relevant to you right here, right now. So if you can remember them, that's great. Even if they do not make sense at this point, write down your thoughts, write down your feelings. Because it's almost going to be like putting a jigsaw puzzle together and it's going to take two or three weeks for that jigsaw puzzle to come together. And the more you set this intention, the more you write it down, the more it will come together and the more guidance you will get. So good luck. But let me know what guidance you receive this month in the comments as well. Okay, so let's see what guidance we can get for you from the tarot. Divine Spirit, what guidance can we get for Cancer? Oops, month, whoops, and we have a card that's fallen out, and it is the Ten of Swords. So who has stabbed you in the back? Someone has stabbed you in the back. The great thing about the Ten of Swords is that it's already happened. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We have reverse the King of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Moon. Hunts in the Moon card come out for a while. And we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, cool. Let's try and get them in a bit closer. Okay, so King of Cups. I feel this is spirit. This could well be. Oh, a card on the bottom of the deck. Staring me in the face is the death card, the card of transformation. Okay, I get I'm sensing that this is someone that's in the spirit world. I sense this is someone that's past that is is guiding you. It could well be someone on the earth plane. This man is an emotional man, but he's in total control of his emotions. But his family, his loved ones, I feel this is a grandfather figure. 
and was talking about dream time and things coming at night and I feel that he's the one that's going to give you the guidance you're seeking and I feel you're going to know that it's him as well you're going to know that he's it's almost as though he's got something there's something that he did in this his life that he's passing on during dream time to you so whether that's skills knowledge I'm not sure what that is, but he's passing that on. Okay, as you go into the second week, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is, we have a little pauper here holding a hand out with not getting any money. And they're giving their money to uh, somebody else. This one's watch what you do with your energy. Watch what you do with your money. Um, because with the Six of Pentacles, for me, it's somebody is take, take, take. And there's no giving back. And I feel that there's gonna need there's a need for balance. I can remember setting a spell with the tarot, um a money spell about abundance for bun abundance, and my intention was allow me to earn enough money, allow me to work for the money. And I sense that somebody is wanting this or given to them on a plate. It's not you. This is someone around you that is wanting, I don't know whether you support them or, or whether they just take, take, take. But I do sense this is material. This is they're taking the pee, really, is what I'm, I'm sensing. But, yeah, so be careful where you're putting your money. Be careful who you're giving your energy to and say no if you have to. Okay, the third week we have that moon card. I'm sure the moon was in here as well. Yes, it was. How perfect. So night time. The moon comes out at night. Okay, I always think with the moon card it shows uh, your shadow side as well. It shows another side of somebody. Um, and that could well be this person here. There's, they're going to show another side. Especially if you toughen up to that person. Then... They're going to show another side of themselves. But I feel that that's this third week. I think the first week and the third week is when you're going to get your answers. Going into the fourth week is when you're going to do something about it. The Eight of Cups, surrounded by love, and yet he's off up the mountain to in search of something else. There's something else out there. There's something else that you want. There's something else that you need to do. You've got the card of transformation. The Death card is something that you've always wanted to do and haven't you still need to complete it so spirit are going to be giving you opportunities this month spirit are gonna um not only give you opportunities but they're going to give you guidance as well and those messages are going to come through dream time 100 percent. but as you get towards the end of the um month you're going to have those answers those answers and you're going to be on a mission to to put them into action you're going to be on a mission by the end of the third week of august well bless you i hope that the reading resonates with you if it does please let me know in the comments please like and share and please subscribe to the channel now what we're also doing is setting up a facebook live we went live on sunday for readings so have a look at the spiritual center on facebook our facebook page and we will um be going live every sunday at seven but also a couple of times during the week and look out for lives on here for readings as well okay what else can we give you um we're also doing spiritual development classes and experiences pop over to my website the spiritualcenter.net sign up to my newsletter you receive all the updates, but you also receive the chance of winning a free personal reading each month as well. And I did say at the beginning of the reading, a free personal reading. All you need to do is type yes, please, with your date of birth in the comments. And I will read for all those I feel drawn to this month with your 2020 experience card particularly. Well, bless you for watching. I hope you have a lovely August.